Hi everyone, it's Jen from Mum in the Mad House and today we're going to be making a tea light holder with air drying clay and um, this is made with microwave air drying clay really light, absolutely fantastic, super to make we used um, Fine More Air Light now it's really important that you get the right clay um, and check that it's actually got the microwave logo in if you want to do it in the microwave and it basically starts does in less than 10 minutes if you're doing it in the microwave so what we need is some air drying clay um, a heart cutter little punch icing punch roller tape cardboard for making a template and a knife and a battery tea light so we're going to start by rolling out our air drying clay now I decided what size I wanted mine by using um, something to sample to get the right sort of simple size as you can see and that then I cut out a template so I know what size I need to roll mine too so I'm going to roll it out now just going to check whether it's the right size I could do with it leaving a little bit bigger I'll just do that and again and I'm going to check whether we're sort of the right size and as you can see there yeah we're absolutely fine so I'm going to cut that out um, I'm just using a butter knife but if you've got play-doh knife anything like that that's absolutely fine so again, just cut round. Oops. And peel it off. I'm just going to pop that to one side. I'm just going to check that it will come away easily. So there you can see really simple sorted that bit and you can sort of see the thickness if you want it the same thickness um, use a roller that gives you that or um, put something at either side as you roll then we're going to use our punch and just punch out some hearts now you could do a pattern um, you could do pretty much whatever you wanted but we're just going to punch random hearts sorry about the dog barking in the background there's somebody at the door. Let's see if anyone else in the house answers it. You could do a heart pattern with hearts if that's what you wanted. Um, it's really easy. And these icing cutters um, are a few pound for different sizes off Amazon. Um, or you can get them. Uh, um, icing cake shops or even some supermarkets do them now so I'm just going to push them together because we can use that again pop it with my ball of dough and now I'm going to gently lift it And I'm going to wrap it, oops, wrap it round the the pot so I get the approximate size. And then I'm going to join the ends. Now, I literally just do it by dampening it and sticking it with my fingers. Simple as that. There's no worry. And on this one, as you can see, we've got quite a fine edge I literally just smooshed it and then use the knife to 
flatten it off so I'll try and show you what I mean if you need to you can dampen your fingers so that you can get a decent join just have a little pot of water next to you and then you need to just gently make sure that it's loose around the inside now if you were clever you could wrap your candle pot in um, cling film which would make it even easier to get off but I never thought about that until now so you've just got to gently remove it just to show you how much easier it is when you use cling film you can literally hold it and just gently push it give it a wiggle Ta -da! and then it's time to take this to the microwave so here we are at the microwave and um, really simple um, and what you need to do is you need to pop in a cup of cold water it tells you at least 500 mils and then you have to pop your air drying clay just into the microwave like that shut the door now you need to set the power on medium so for me if I press micro power set to medium and you need to set it to 10 minutes and start and then it literally it's like magic still cooking one minute 42 left really simple I'm going to take it out now just open it and there we go I'll take that so I'll show you the rest so we're back from the microwave and here's our pot as you can see what I was going to say is we use um, a emery board just to file off any loose bits that aren't smooth just literally give it a quick rub and there you have an air drying to tea light holder and there's one that we made as well and here's one that we did with larger holes well this one that the boys did absolutely fantastic they're just so easy to make and look brilliant when the, in the dark and um, so make sure that you follow our i think it's down here follow subscribe to mum in the madhouse so that you get any crafts and things that we do anything um, to do with you supplies there'll be a list below and there'll also be a list on our website which is www.muminthemadhouse.com